we would certainly concur that the case management is a critical part of it and that for the level of probation services provided today through the adult probation department that we are not doing what we need to do. We, as I said earlier, with the support of the mayor and the board of supervisors and the judges, are working to transform the department and improve the level of service. Uh, the board of supervisors just recently approved three additional positions uh, to provide direct service to specialized treatment caseloads. What what I want to add, though, is that we, in terms of the level of resources and the number of people we're dealing with, we really have to recognize what we've done over the past 30 years. And we have to look at, for the next 30 years, are we going to continue down the same path or are we going to stop and regroup and try something different? The mayor talked about doing things differently. In the past 30 years, since 1980, our California population has grown by 60%. At the same time, the prison population has grown by 700%. That's 12 times faster growth rate for prison population than for the state population. There's three things that contributed to that. The war on drugs, nationally, which really I think is our war on families and neighbors, we have not effectively dealt with the drug problem. We, we passed the LPS Act with good intentions of releasing mentally ill from state facilities and providing community mental health care. We failed miserably at providing appropriate community mental health care. The determinant sentence law became a recipe for piecemeal incremental change in our sentencing practices instead of a reasoned approach to what will work for criminal justice system in California. We've got to stop and go back and look at those three areas. Arrest should not be the treatment of choice for the mentally ill or the substance abusers. I want to um, I want to support totally what you're saying, Patrick. I mean, I think we have to consider the whole the whole issue, not just uh, pieces and parts of it. I think the only thing that I would add is that um, no part of our system, the criminal justice system, acts independently. I mean, we're all connected. There's like interdependent parts, although we don't always work that way. We don't necessarily talk to each other, work together, plan together, and look at it from the point of view of the offender, but rather from our own specific missions. Um, I think we do a much better job of that here in San Francisco City and County. I see a great, a lot more collaboration here than I see in other parts of the state. But I think that's absolutely essential for us to step back and not really care who gets the credit or who gets the resources necessarily today. If that's where the issue, that's where the problem is, that's where the focus needs to be. Um, so I also think that um, in, in terms of this whole uh, reentry issue, we're, uh, although I'm, I'm thrilled that we're focusing on it and we're moving in that direction, I think we really have to look at prevention from the front end. And um, I think you know, not, not enough uh, energy or attention is focused there from my point of view. And actually, if, as I look at the uh, offenders who are leaving prison, you've heard the numbers, well over 100,000 every year leaving our prisons. We need to look at that uh, group of people as uh, what, what we would call the undiscovered workforce. I mean, these are people who are, a many of them are able, capable, um, able-bodied people who can contribute to our communities and can also contribute to this whole prevention issue. If we can train them and utilize them as mentors uh, to this next generation who are being recruited to gangs as young as seven, eight, nine years old, and because really, uh, those youngsters look up to 
folks who have walked that path. And if they tell them, you don't want to go there for these reasons and speak their language, I think we can start to divert some of that next generation away from crime and drugs, et cetera. Um, from our operation uh, viewpoint, what has happened is parolees are released back in the community unprepared for what's really, uh, what's really gonna happen to them. Um, they come out with high hopes um, and high expectations but most of them are not prepared. Um, if we're talking about reentry, we need to prepare them to reenter the workforce prior to them getting out. It's real difficult for a parolee with no place to stay to concentrate on getting a job and all the other things they need to do. We need to provide training and those skills that will allow them to be successful when they leave. Um, I had the opportunity to visit the sheriff's jail recently in San Bruno, and they had a huge education program going on there. And I think that's, you know, something that we haven't done that we probably need to do. Um, they need employment services, job readiness. Um, they, need, they need jobs. A lot of our parolees will go through our jobs program and not be able to find work. And that's extremely difficult and hard for them to, for us to keep them on track to continue down that path. They also need substance abuse treatment prior to getting out, and 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 we need some sort of interconnection between the reentry program and parole agents before they get out. So when they do get out, any programming that they will need upon release it will be seamless. We can ensure that they continue in their treatment. Um, we need anger management for our people. They have a real difficult time with that. We need batterers program. Many of our people want to get out and reunify with their spouses. And, you know, we can't allow that as a, as a parole agency to happen until they complete a 52-week uh, batterers program. So that puts another hardship on our parolees. Um, we need some sort of system where our parolees are are, are beginning to reunify with their family support system. Um, you know, once they're connected back with that support, uh, personally I found that parolees are much more successful if they have their family involved in what uh, obstacles they need to overcome. So any system we talk about, uh, reentry, all those components need to be part of it. Thank you.